Just wanted to show you a, a little greeting routine so that she can learn how to greet people in a mannerly way without jumping on them, without being scared. Um, and it's actually a, a great way to practice some of her training as well. Because all of her training needs to be used in a real life context. Like if a dog has a problem greeting people, whether they're afraid or aggressive or out of control, they, you know, you need to use your sit and your stay and all that stuff and your release command in a real life situation. So this is a, an example of that. So we got a person here that she obviously knows really well, but still I'm just gonna go through the motions, let her have a little drink of water. She's on free time now. So let's say the person is, you never wanna have a new person approach a dog like her that has lunged at people and has had leash aggression. Never have somebody new approach. You always ask the person to wait there, set, set them up, tell them how this routine's gonna go so they know exactly what to do. Take you all, all 30 seconds to do that. You approach the person. So the person's waiting there. Okay, I'm just gonna get her into, into my little uh, sit, my little uh, work mode here. See, she was loose. I stepped into her, did a little circle. She was next to me, I had her sit. I'm gonna show her, hey, look, I have this food. I'm stepping away from her. That's a little sit stay. You're stepping away from her. She has to wait until you come back next to her. If she gets up, let's pretend she got up which she did, no. Step into her, do a little circle, put her back. And we're, we're doing this lesson uh, near a kennel where there's a ton of dogs back there barking. Okay, so she's very distracted, but this, it could be, in this case, it's other dogs, but it could be a lot of other things going on as well. So it's a real life situation. You just keep putting her back. This is the way it goes. Every time it's gently, but firmly. It's the same routine. Eventually she'll give in and do it your way because she knows it's the only way it's gonna go. You wanna be, you never, you're not correcting her, you're not being rough. There's already a dog that has a problem with stress. So to correct and to, um, to correct and jerk her and pop her and all that kind of stuff is just gonna make her more stressed. It's not what you wanna do. We want her to build her up. We want her to have confidence, meaning a person. We want her be, to be as relaxed as possible. So you're gentle but firm, just like you see me doing here. So she's been in a sit stay this whole time while I've been talking. Good, I'm coming back to reward her. You're, she's waiting for you to come back next to her because look what happens when you come back next to her. Good, notice how I'm rewarding her? Eye contact. Good, straight down, no more bending over, no more hand coming out of the sky and she's looking that way and she eats out of your hand. That's useless. You want her to always be checking back with you. If she's not, you can tap her like this. You can even lure her with the food. Good. The end result is she's looking at you, eye contact, she gets a reward. If she collapses, no. Okay. Yet again, another circle. Normally you're not gonna be here talking like this, but this is good practice for her in this case. So I just reset her, put her back. So now I'm gonna, she's listening to dogs over there, but it doesn't matter. She needs to do this the same way every time. She looks back, hey, see this? Treat to the new person, come back next to her. You offer her food like that, just go like that. Pat her chest and say, go say hi. Let her accept the gift, come. Call her back right away. Don't let the person pet her at first. You want her to have a short little sit, positive interaction with the person. And then each time you send her over, then you lengthen the time. You don't let her go over there and stay. A lot of dogs will be fine at first and wag their tail and then they start to freak out and they'll bite the person. You don't let a new person touch her. That could also make her freak out and try to bite because she, she can't handle very much right now. She's kind of insecure and hey, up here, look. She's kind of insecure and she has no tolerance to stress and even if she likes somebody, the stress and excitement could make her nip or bite at this point. I need some more treats. I need to get some more treats from you. Okay, so I called her to come, I had her sit, step back over. No, but this is part of it. So you give the person, she sees I gave the person a treat. Person offers it, no. You can do that and just make sure that you're in control of the leash and you say no. She needs to wait until she's sent over there. Pat her chest and say, go say hi. Let her stay a little bit longer. Come. We're just gonna do it like two more times. 
that's it. You can watch this video as much as you want and just see the way I do it. I've been talking too much, so we're just going to finish it up, offer her food, go say hi, stay over a little bit longer, come. Good. So this is what I want you to do with this dog, with her in particular. Sit. Because there's a lot, of, a lot of me doing greeting routines out there on film, on YouTube. So with her, what I want you to do is, there's another treat. Like the fourth or fifth time, especially if she's doing it like this, you know, go. She's cool to go to the next level. You go over with her like the fourth or fifth time. You keep giving the person treats. You're going to be wearing the, the pouch, of course. And you just keep on, go ahead, you put your hand down there because you're the person. You keep on giving the person food and she just feeds her for a while. Yeah, good. So we've been over here for you know 30 seconds, 40 seconds now. Maybe even stay there for almost a minute and then come. Call her back, good. And then when, if that's all gone well, like this has gone well here, sit. Good, you do one more time. Treat, send her over, go say hi, and you can pet her now. Good, you can pet her, just pet her a little bit. Tell the person more underhanded at first, okay. like this, and then maybe work your way around. You never go like this. They're not supposed to go like this. Always start underhanded and just go easy. Come, and then call her back. Let her get petted for a few seconds. Good girl. And then from there you can, you can go and just let her stay out there longer, get petted a little bit more. Sit as time goes on, but see how we did it really gradually? If you do it gradually like this, she'll get better and better and better. If you rush it and you leave her, let her stay over there too long at first, if you don't do it like this, if there's not a lot of structure where you really make her sit and wait, because she's busy doing this the way that she's supposed to do it with all these little things she has to remember. She, uh, there's a lot of structure here and she has to think so she, her brain can't go soft and and get reactive and do something crazy like she would have done before so that's why that's the that's the idea of this routine there's a lot to keep track of she's working you're orchestrating this with her somebody's in charge there's a leader makes her feel safer relaxed all that stuff you've heard all those cliches so that's what this does so just keep doing it this way and every person she meets in this way will make her a little bit more relaxed when she sees a, a new person okay